All right, guys, uh, I guess on the drop of a notice, I'm gonna show you how to change the driver's side window and a 2012 F-150, because stuff happens. So check this out. My sister, blessed be her pointed little head, uh, practice shooting with the BB gun and well, took care of that. I know it's probably a broken record for you guys, but you say wear safety goggles and anything to protect your eyes and hands. Like you don't want to do this barehanded, but what I'm looking at is right up in here. All this broken glass. It's coming out in big sections, but it's definitely leaving a trail behind. So like this section, see what it's doing? It's leaving that behind. It goes up way further up there than you realize. So I've got this pick. That is helping quite a bit. Okay, see that? So just take your time. Definitely don't be directly under it when looking up. I'm I'm back, you know, two or three feet looking up like this. But also don't let it trail down your arm because it could, you know, glass bounce all the way down your arm right back in your face. So be very careful. Well, the one upside to this is that it's getting a deep clean in this track here. It's on sunflower seeds, rocks, I think a piece of mail. But uh, yeah, so that's clean all the way around. It's just we have this crap to take care of, so. The inside of the door is filled with glass. Listen for it. Oh, that's just, yeah, when you take that panel off, that's gonna be fun. Next day here, we uh, now have our window completely cleared out, except for, listen for it. Yep, that's glass. It's still dropping little bits every time we close the door. So I'm leaving all over the property, which is nice. But we got a replacement here from the uh, auto salvage. So this came from 2012. They did have a tint film on it. I've wanted to tint the front glass for a while because of the factory stuff. I mean, it's pretty dark. So if this one works out pretty well, then I'll probably take the passenger side off and try to match it to that one. Um, yeah, just because during the day, I don't like how well you can see inside there. It's you know, kind of weird. But, uh, I'm gonna walk you guys through getting the panel off and then cleaning up the glass and I'll show you how to reinstall fresh glass. Okay, just quickly gonna point out to you guys there's a bolt here, right behind here, and then underneath there's one on the right hand side and the left. Yeah, for these you're gonna need to pick for sure. Should get down in there. Yeah I know it's grimy so don't, don't judge me. She's a working truck. You see it started getting an edge there. Just take your time. There she comes up. Boom. We're doing the bolt. Set that the seat. This one is easiest from the back like this. Just reach behind it. Oh, see? Glass. Huh. It's everywhere. Just pull on it, you'll feel it pop. Behind it, just like that, and pull there, and this free, and then you can kind of go towards the top side here, just like that. There she goes. Set that in the seat as well. There's your other bolt. So four total: one, two, three, and four. your switches out of the door panel just because you could dangle it and you know, have the wiring harness hooked up and everything that's kind of in the way so to get this out was a pain in the butt there are these lock tabs right there that's one that's one but they're also on the back side it is extremely difficult to get to so looking at it from upside down set that down real quick I'm overhanging the door panel I'm upside down this one easy to get to this one easy to get to this back right one not the hardest but it, I mean I use a pretty thin screwdriver like this behind it basically pressed in like that and got it but when you start pulling on this one these other three want to snap back into place so I had three of these and then used a pick 
this back side. And the easiest way I could describe to get it is I started here, put the pick in, and it's a bent hook. Started here, went around, and then just forced it in like that. And once I got it in, basically did a prying motion. It's very hard, but be patient, you'll get it. Okay, please try to overcome the uh, the dinging. I have the key in right now, but I have to show you guys this. So you need your switch because you're gonna have to put the window down. You put it down. So you can see on this left hand side, there's decent access to that bolt. Maybe right about there. I could get a, a driver in there and get that. But the right hand side has the same thing as a bolt right here on the inside there's no way to get it except for and this is why you need your switch installed go back up, I'm going the wrong way. take her all the ways back up right there real close to the top direct line to that bolt so be patient you're gonna need this you don't have to pull it out of the panel I feel like it was easier but that way the panels not dangling here you will need that though hooked up because you're gonna have to go back and forth back and forth until you get the window set up Just a quick little update here. Uh, all my cameras keep shutting off. Phone, everything, because of the heat. It's pretty extreme out here right now. Um, just wanted to point out to you real quick, I had to take off all of this trim, this outside trim, which by the way, from here, just lifts up all the way down to get to right here. From the inside, there is a, this is it right here. So when you go pulling on it, so you're aware, it is a push in, so from the top side you'll push that down and it will release. So basically you're gonna get a little hook and be pulling up on it from the bottom, but you'll push down the tab and it will come out. I had to take the mirror off just because it had an overhang like this. And finally, getting the glass in, it squeezed down right between here. So it was stuck just like this all the way down until the top part made it far enough down and it finally released. But it is in there now. It's resting on the perches, each one. So I'm going to, before I bolt it back up, put back on all the seals and everything, because we got to test it going up and down, but also make sure that it's centered, that it fits, everything's functioning, and then, because it's just resting on those perches, and that's only gonna keep them, you know, coming out of them. So I'll bolt them down once that's all done. And we should be good to go to start reassembly. So all of our trim pieces are back in Got the window part way down. It's still loose at each side. So it's just resting on there. But here's a test So it kind of comes up a little bit on that side But just showing you that it's seated in the track both ways. So it doesn't really move But you know it'll come up, but then you just run your tests slowly All the way down it Seems to be seated in the track both sides it goes all the way up it does see all the ways across. So, success on putting on all the uh, window railing guard back, and all the back, everything fits. So all I have to do now is reline our bolt holes. There's one, we'll tighten that one up, and then drop this one down and tighten it up. Should be good to go. If you're concerned about tightness, I'm gonna try to show you this. I mean, I've already got it just where it's snug on here, but I'm gonna, you can see the rubber squeeze down as I tighten down, so let's watch it. With one hand, that's pretty good, and then you can also do this test. As far as it in the perch, it feels pretty good. Remember, that is metal squeezing on it, so I mean, it's just to keep it from going up. I think we'll probably be good. Both sides are done there. Auto down. Working. Auto up is not always working, but uh, it's hit and miss. I mean, it's high mileage on this truck. Could be, that, you know, some of the plugs are missing, so it doesn't like it. But as far as that goes, so she is fully functional, seated in place, bolted down. Time to reassemble the door frame. All 
Alright guys, door panel fully assembled, all bolts in, plastic pits here, there. It's one thing I was having to fiddle with that for a second because it was in a lock position, it was below lock. So I didn't like it. It's still a little bit lower, but it was sitting high up here. What it was is the cable that goes down to the door handle was sitting on top of this perch between the door panel and stuff, so it was keeping it lifted. So that's why I took it off, pulled the cable up, was able to set this down on the perch. Cable's just resting free float here. But uh, it's working a lot better now. So, full window replace. Do have all the trim back on all the way around. You need to double check it too, make sure it's all good. Windows in. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, definitely consider hitting subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support from all of you guys. We just passed 500 subscribers, which is amazing. It's telling me that you guys enjoy this content. If you do, I mean, I'm gonna keep making videos on the F-150, and as right now, she's at 468,000 miles, so um, I'm gonna try to take it to the moon. The sky's the limit. I've heard of some guys breaking a million, but they had a couple of engines. I don't think that necessarily counts. That's just me. If you guys have any thoughts or questions, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer as many of them as possible. I love and appreciate all of you guys and the feedback you give. Um, and definitely the number one thing to remember whenever you're doing this, your own work on your vehicles, is be patient. It's hot out. I know. It's frustrating. You, you're going to feel hopeless. You got this. I believe in you. You can do this. I'm just saying, if I can do this, you certainly can. Anyone can do this work. You can save yourself a lot of money instead of going to the dealership. So please believe in yourself. Just be patient. Take your time, and you'll get it done. Uh, thank you, guys. With all that being said, thank you so much for the love and support, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.